question from the adult section. You are free to raise up your hand. Any question from the adult section, please raise up your hand. The person there in the large auditorium. Good morning, sir. Sir, in our study scripture this morning, how can we, maybe a Christian, misuse the power, like we saw in the life of Balaam, how he misused the power? Though we are taught about sanctification, and they define what power is all about, and also what goes with power. How can we today, practically, how can we misuse the power that God has given to us? That's my first question, sir. Second question is that uh, I think these people, perhaps they pray before they, God gave them this power. Uh, why should God give them the power Why they are not purified? Ati koni pa balamu la aroi ati bi o ti se agbara re lo o wa nbere pe ni ona to han gba ngba wo lo je pe awa christianity o ni ti a fi le si agbara olorun lo ninu aye wa eleyi ni bere akoko ikeji ni pe awon eniyan ti won se agbara ilo a ri pe won gba lati odo olorun ba olorun se le fun won ni agbara lai je pe won ni wa funfun to come to your second question we are not qualified to question God. God is all wise and He knows the future from the beginning. But in His love, He does not deal with us on what He knows about us in the future. He deals with us on what he knows we are about us in the present. That's why God is different from man. If we knew that a man, a woman, will do something bad in the future, it will hurt us in the future, even if he is doing well now, we look at that thing he's going to do in the future and we'll begin to even punish him from now. We are human beings, somebody may be helping us and doing the very best. If we had a dream, a revelation that this fellow is going to do bad in the future. We'll forget the good he's doing at the present and we'll be punishing him for the sin he has not committed. We deny him because of what we know about him in the future. God doesn't do that. <laughs> God looks at a man and is repenting, and when he repents and believes on the Lord Jesus Christ, is born again, is forgiven. God may know that in the future because God knows all things this fellow is going to backslide he doesn't look at that he looks at him in the present reality of repentance and faith and he gives him salvation that's the greatness of God. But now come to the set of your first question. Uh, how can God misuse the power of God? Very simple. When you are different from Christ in your attitude, in your disposition, in your action, in your life, then you are likely to misuse the power of God. And the way to avoid misusing the power of God is always looking at Jesus. 
What will Jesus do? What will Jesus say? How will Jesus act? And in what way will Jesus respond? Looking at Jesus Christ and always behaving as Christ would have behaved. You will avoid misusing the power of God. On Colossians chapter 2 verse 6 As we have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord So walk ye in him For the moment you start walking Different from Christ, you will misuse the power of God. Suba, let's say, kese ti oba ti bere se iri. Ele to yato si ti Christi wa si agbara le. Once your actions are not fully, completely, entirely controlled by Christ and the Spirit of Christ, you will misuse the power of God. Let's say, kese ti oba jekpe yi se ati wa wa au sa kosore ma lati odo Christi ati e mire au si agbara le. In First John chapter two verse six. Ya no keni ori kef. First John chapter two verse six. He that says he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk even as he walked. How did Jesus live? That's the question. What did Jesus do? That's the question. How did Jesus walk? Wanting to please God every time, every moment? That's the question. And before you do anything, any moment, any time, if you are preoccupied with that question, how will Jesus do this? And you follow after Jesus, you will not be derailed. Don't forget that every situation in our lives, we can find a parallel. Another situation similar to that in the life of Jesus. If you have friends, Jesus had friends. How did he behave to the disciple whom he loved? If you have enemies, Jesus had enemies. How did he behave to his enemies? How did he use his power towards his enemies? One of the people that came to arrest him cut off, uh, you know, wanted to arrest him, and Peter cut off the ear of one of them. How did Jesus use his power towards his enemy? He picked up the ear that is cut off, put it back again. If you look at Jesus, and every time you are acting as Jesus acted, you will not misuse the power of God. If you are not acting as Jesus acted, you will not misuse the power of if you have people that appreciate you because you've done something marvelous through prayer, Jesus had people that appreciated him when he did something marvelous. So, Yes, no, ni iru awon eri abe ti won mo riri re ni pa agbara to ti so ya. Then we spread. They so much appreciated him. They were looking for him to make him a king. He ran away. O fi o nje bo won, nigbati o bo won yo tan, won wa npe ti ati fi ijoba se lo sama won won. If you have power, spiritual power, miracles are wrought and people appreciate you because of that. They begin to flatter you. They even want to make you a chief. You run away if you always do like Jesus. In making you of the power of God, you will not go astray. But ya ne pa ori of your lawn, agbara lawn wa ni no aye re. Osi shi shi agbara ni pa sebe. I want to see agbara for you. I want to see your jewelry. 
ni pase be o wa sa lo to ba wo Jesu Christ ninu gbogbo ose o ni si agbara lo as we talk about power many of us we are only thinking about miracle working power ti a ba nsoro ni pa agbara o to polopo wa mo nsa ba ro ni isi agbara tun se ya lo agbelam a wo balam o yet power o ni agbara he misuse his power o si agbara re lo well me what power do i have eh emi agbara wo mo wa ni i'm just a, you know a child of god born again and you know living my christian life i'm not an evangelist I'm not an apostle and I don't have this kind of power they are talking about no problem no danger for me eh omo olorun le mi omo olorun lasanti si evangelist si eyan kan kan ninu igbagbo nitori na mi o sise ya lo tabi si agbara tori be ko se wu fe mi rara number 1 there is miracle working power akoko ise agbara ise ya lo people can misuse that power awon eyan si le si eleyi lo number 2 ekeji there is power attached to money agbara kan wa ti asomo owo that people that have money they have a kind of power that other people do not have to je pe awon to lowo yen won ni agbara kan ti awon kan o ni and you can misuse that power that is attached to money agbara ta so mowo yi o rorun lati silo number 3 there is power attached to knowledge knowledge is power o miran ni agbara ti aso mo imo imo agbara when you have information when you have knowledge and you have experience backing up that knowledge its power to banima to je pe imare yi iriri aye re gan tabi nto sele ni pase re o ti mo eleyin agbara ni and as bela misuse the power he had so you too you can misuse the power of knowledge and experience that you have bi bala mo se si agbara ti re lo be ni iwo to ni mo ati iriri o le si agbara imo ati iriri lo number 4 there is position power ba kan na ikerin ni ipo agbara ipo the very fact that somebody in society is elevated above everybody else that position of authority gives him power above all the people around him niti pe olorun koju se enikan lo re o wa gbega lawojo gbogbo awon eniyan niti pe o gaju awon eyan yen lo ipo yen agbara ni o si le si you are director in the place of work that's power o lo tu lo je ni ile ise re agbara ni you can hire you can fire you can employ you can terminate appointment a single word you know the, the career is finished that's power agbara tin be lowo re o le gbe ni soke o le fa ni lule o le da ni duro oro enu re ase lo ma ni agbara ni and you can misuse that position power ipo to ni aglayi o le si lo there is political power agbara ti o se luwa i told about nebkadnesa whom he wanted he slew whom he wanted he kept alive that's power aso ni pa ti nebukadnesa ri wi pe agbara ti e en to ba mu o le pa en to ba wu o le gbega agbara ni when you have political power that's real real power to ba wa ni agbara ti o se lu ojulo wa agbara ni you can deny a whole community a whole tribe of electricity and put them in darkness for six months if you want to agbara n be lowo e o le so yan so oku aye awon to wa you, you can put the capital of the state in a little village that has nothing and remove and deny the people that have a large big city with all the facilities remove the capital from there just to show them who you are when you are in politics there's political power agbara o se lu ti ma npa yan bi o ti o le mu ke yan o mu abule ko so di olulu ko si so ilude abuleko agbara ti o se lu ni afin se be and was mela misuse the power he had so you can misuse political power too bibala mo se si agbara to ni lo be ni iwo na le si agbara o se lu lo there's personality power agbara ti iwo mo lu ati erodias was just a woman eh obirin ni erodaya erodaya yawo erodaya when she told the husband and said that man John the Baptist I don't like him I don't even want him around and uh, he do something about it first he was imprisoned and later when the lady the girl the daughter died and uh, Herod said what do you want he said let me go and uh, talk to my mother and she talked to the mother and the mother said this is the time there's a chance go and ask him the head of John the Baptist that is power personality power iyawo erodu obirin ni sugba oni agbara pelu agbara re agbe mi joanu ba si se sele ni pe o korira joanu ide bi wi pe 
oro re won ti mu si atimole sugba lojo asikan a ma bere re wanjo baba re wa bere lowo oku re pe ki lo fe kin se fun e o wa ni je n bere lowo iya mi iya re wa ni anfani lati lo agba agbara ti gbajumo o wa ni ori ijo anu ni ko bere agbara la as we are talking about misusing power don't think it's only preachers don't think it's only people that are filled with the holy ghost even people that have no holy ghost they have a kind of power in this world in which we are living they can misuse that power to you tori na ta ba nso nipa sisi agbara lo e ma ma teju ma won ni wa so ati awon ajirin nikan awon ti o lemi mi mo gan te wa ninu aye ti won ni awon agbara aye won le si agbara na unfortunately Balaam was warned. Number one, Almighty God warned Balaam. Number two, his as even spoke with the voice of a man, a great supernatural warning. Number three, an angel from heaven gave him the warning, you are not in the right way, your way is perverse before me. He wasn't ignorant. He knew that he wasn't right. He wasn't going well. He even confessed. Look at it. Numbers chapter 22, verse 34. He said, I have seen. Number four. And Balaam said unto the angel of the Lord, I have seen. But he didn't change. I don't say you have seen. You have seen that you misuse your power. Or you are on the way to misuse your power. Doesn't mean you have changed. The man said, I have seen. Number five. And he said, I have seen. You remember Pharaoh? He also misused the power of God. So, uh, the power of God in putting him on the throne. In making him to lead the people. Full of Egypt. Egypt, the Lord sent message to him. Change. If you don't change, there is danger when you misuse the power of God. So by ye bada ida jumbo agbara to si lo yo fa ida jo. He just said, I have seen. Oh no, ma je wako na dese. He didn't repent. So ma koro nuko ada. In Exodus chapter nine. In Exodus ori kesa. Exodus chapter nine verse twenty seven. Exodus ori kesa se iketa de ni. In Exodus nine verse twenty seven, and Pharaoh sent and called for Moses and Aaron and said unto them. I have sinned this time. Ni exo do ri kese se keta din logbo fara o si ran se o si fun Moses ati Aaroni o si fun won pe emi se ni gbayi. The Lord is righteous and I and my people are wicked. Oluwa ni olododo eni buburu si ni emi ati awon eni ani. Chapter 10 verse 16. Ori ke we se ikerin din logbo. Then Pharaoh called for Moses and Aaron in haste and he said I have sinned against the Lord your God and against you. Ni gba na ni fara when Satan wants to destroy somebody, he allows him to have the recognition and the remembrance of the sin, and even to make confession, and yet to harden the heart and not change. Just making confession is not enough. Joshua chapter 7. Joshua, we have another man. He made confession to you. Joshua chapter 7 verse 20. And he can answer Joshua and said, uh, and, uh, and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord. God of Israel. I can see that Joshua alone also he pay me to talk. There are some people that think once to make a confession, I have seen, and that finishes everything. You may confess, you may not be converted. I will come near Siriro. Tomorrow, you go to Bati Jawa or the Parinani. If you are not Jawa, come on, my Ipada. In First Samuel chapter fifteen. Samuel, look in your record. Do go. First Samuel chapter fifteen, verse twenty-four. Samuel, look in your record. Do go and say, "Can you?" And Saul said unto Samuel, "I." Have seen. So, Samuel, it's not a strange thing. We find Balaam confessing, I have seen. After saying, I have seen, he went on his way still. 
the project, the plan that he had before. He continued in it, even though he said, I have seen. Oh, there are times you come to the position where God doesn't even take your confession serious. I have seen, I have seen, and he just looks away because he knows you've said that so many times, and you never change. And uh, look at this pillar. After the angel said, Your way is perverse before me. And then he said, I have seen. And then he went on in the program, in the project, in the plan he had before. And Put a word in the mouth of Balaam. Balaam himself said, I am the one that saw the vision of the Lord in chapter 24. That a man is seeing vision, having revelation, having word of knowledge, having word of wisdom. Does it mean that he's still with God? God can use that man. As a teen, a can of sardine, if that's what the man wants, and then at the end, you throw the can of sardine away, when you eat what is inside, he is almighty God, he is the creator, he used the rod, lifeless rod, he used the cock, even to remind Peter of what he had done, he used the jawbone of an ass, he used Caiaphas to declare that Jesus Christ will go to the cross and die for the whole nation, he used even a plant that he brought up to cover Jonah, he can use anything and anyone. That God is using somebody. He has power. He has spiritual days and spiritual that. It doesn't mean the person is going to get to heaven. Look at Balaam and learn a lesson. Please, turn the cassette over. Nitipe enya nyora ima enya rira onso asotele ele iko to lati soyipe olor osi wakwe lo nito on. On to ba fele ni yama inya enya tinyan to wu Nitipe and some people, they just come to church every time. I have seen, they confess, I have seen, they confess. They never turn away from their sin. And then, because maybe there's still some power there, there's still some popularity there, and they're still able to do this and do that, they think everything is alright. No, it's not alright. Eternity will show, will reveal, where we stand with God. When we get to the other side, there will be two parts of people. Some will be on the right hand side. The others will be on the left hand side. Among the people on the left hand side, you will find a lot of people that when they want, they said, I have sinned, I have sinned, I have sinned. And yet you will find them on the left hand side. Among them you will find Judas is Cariot, because Judas is Cariot said, he came to those people, he said, I have sinned, I betrayed innocent blood. He said, what is that to us? Get out of that place. And that man got to hell, even though he made confession, I have sinned. Confession is not enough. Rise up and let us pray. <laughs> Te ba won da da e o ri Judas Iscariot la rin won 
Eni to je pe leyin igba to fi Oluwa han tan o to pada o ni emi ti dese won ye kini yen ni se pelu wa nitori na mo ti dese mo ti dese ka ma fe lo je wo to o lati ni yi pada dide duro ki o gba ra Do you stand we are trying to prepare for eternity eternity is what matters ni bo lo duro si bayi an gbe yanju lati mura sile fun aye raye aye raye lo se ba ta short time here on earth igba kukuru ta ni lo laye o ja maybe maybe you have power bo yo ti e lagbara you have control you have authority you have miracle working power you have political power you have position power you have personality power you have power that comes with money you have power because you are director you are manager be very careful that power can drag you down to hell Johnny beginning with courage and sadness arise to work through the cause that I choose be honest be watchful and wise remember to pass our before thee and put thy attention in thy that one lead us on to the other to joy and delight God help you to follow his banner and stop it wherever you go and when you are tempted my brother God give you the grace to stay low
the voice of the spirit that we pass so gently within God calls you to Stand up to sing together. I want you to meditate on the words of that song. Brother, sister, life's journey beginning. Of courage. With courage and firmness arise. Look well to the course that you have chosen. Be honest, be watchful, and be wise. Remember, two parts are always before you. And those your attention invites. But one leads to destruction. The other to joy and delight. God help you to follow his banner. Serve him, serve him, serve him, and serve him wherever you go. And when you are tempted, brother, sister, may God give you the grace to say, no. We'll sing it together, number 21. For your anchor hold in the sons of life, when the clouds unfold the wings of strife, when the strong tides lead and the cables train, will your anchor drift and remain? remain. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll fast into the rock which cannot move. Grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love.
Now close your eyes and, and see by you have an anchor. Press up your voice and sing. We, we have, have an anchor that keeps the soul stable and secure while the night passes into the world that cannot move. Close your eyes and see me at the point of an echo. Close your eyes and see you have a moment of an encore. 